Every once in a while, a product gets released that's a game changer. Now, today we're gonna to go through two of these game changers, I believe. So, Sai and Hema have released the Air Swag, double and single. We're here on Strati. How good does it get? We're gonna put these two through their paces, and by the end of this video, you'll know if you should buy one or not. So these are super simple to set up. Have a go at the size of the bag. You'd literally fit three of these in the space of one normal swag, I reckon. So it comes in a few bits. Um, this is the main swag. Pump, pulls for the awning, and a mattress which we haven't even opened up yet. You also get pegs to peg it down, and a few more bags to pack everything back up into. Super, super um, easy to do. Get a nice piece of level ground. It's as easy as rolling it out. About here somewhere, I reckon would be nice. Get nice that sea view in the morning. Now, this is our valve here. So what we want to do is screw the top bit in. Then we want to get our pump out. Then you want to get the pump out. <laughs> I've actually brought the electric pump out too. I got a twofer. This bit here, let's screw onto this. So this goes to seven PSI. Now there is a valve over the top here. When you get to that pressure, it will start releasing for you. So you actually can't pump it up too much, which is good for people like me who tend to be a bit heavy handed with things like this. All right, valve secured and off we go. I like to get it about halfway, and then if you just give it a helping hand, it kind of just pops up by itself, and then just finish it off. And that's it. Done. So then all we have to do is pump the air mattress up. We are lucky enough to have a bit of a 12 volt system here, so I will plug it in. So I'm just gonna unfold this. I've plugged the pump into the car. Let's punch it in there. There is an on switch. And off we go. So all's left, well, we'll peg it out, but we'll just, we'll whack the mattress in first. So we've decided to put it here. Just gonna peg each end out. Um, you can peg the legs down, or the, the feet down too. If it was seriously windy, I probably would, but in this case, I'm just gonna peg out with these two. Have a go at these pegs though. Glow in the dark, I think, and nice uh, nice bit of uh, screw thread there in the bottom, help them stay in. So yeah, really impressed with these. You could probably screw these in. I'm not gonna need to on sand, but very nice pegs. Awnings are easy, you can have it either side. You don't have to use it. If the weather's pretty bad, I probably wouldn't. Um, but let's throw that one over there for a minute. You wanna choose what side you want. Either side's okay. Find the eyelet, pop this little fella through and get our rope like that. Okay, so let's just tie a quick knot in that. Somewhere about here is gonna be pretty good for that. Just grab your other eyelet, pop our guy rope on. Get our peg. And that is the Air Swag. It is so easy to set up dead set. It's the first time I've done it. It was, we have been recording, but probably less than 10 minutes. Looks comfy. Looks sturdy, feels sturdy. It's got nice thick canvas. So what's the difference between this and a normal swag? Well, clearly it's an air swag, so you pump it up. You don't have to worry about the, the, the bendy poles that go around the front and clipping them all on. There's no center pole that you have to stretch out and put the clip in to make sure it's tight enough. You just pump it up literally half the time, I reckon, my opinion, half the time, to set one of these up with a normal swag. When they pack down, they pack down to a bag. I'll roll some B-roll now of the, the size of the bag, but it's this big. A normal swag is this big and twice, more than twice as heavy. So it's going to take up less room. It's going to be quicker to set up. And 
it's got an air mattress in it. It's not a 60, 70, 80 mil foam mattress that's gonna get hard. You're gonna feel every rock on the ground. Air mattress, comfy. So many differences. It's an absolute game changer, these air swags. They are solid. The canvas is thick. It's got an awning. Everybody we've shown this to has loved this awning. And I gotta tell you, I, why wouldn't you? Because it gives you protection from the sunlight. They look good. Yeah. I can't say, I can't speak highly enough about these things. They're absolutely awesome. So as far as strength and durability goes, look, these, these air poles, I'm sure you've seen them at the camping shows in the big fancy awnings and the tents. These are um, every bit as strong as a normal pole, I believe. Probably a bit more flexible with regard to, they're not gonna break if you're maybe a couple of extra drinks than you should have and you fall over it. You're not gonna break them, you're just gonna bend, you're gonna bounce back again. So it's probably a bit more forgiving than a normal swag. I, I do think when you have it all pegged out, we haven't pegged the bottom of this in, we don't even think we need to. It's, it's solid, like everything feels quality. Somewhere nice to be in at nighttime where you feel safe. Okay, let's talk about sizes. So when these are packed down, they pack down pretty much the same size, single and the double. We actually had to read the labels on each bag to, to realize which was which. They're nearly identical. So if you've got a limited space, doesn't matter which one you go for, they're both gonna pack down really nicely. The single is bigger than most single swags are, I believe. Um, there's a lot of room in there. The mattress is, I believe, 170 mil and the double swags 220 mil so it's a little bit higher but again there's going to be designed for two people in there this is designed for one plenty of room in here for me there's yeah this is if the vibe was on my own i'd go for this one if you were with somebody that was two of you traveling this is going to give you both plenty of room there's more room in here than my rooftop tent which is a double rooftop tent so uh and both equally as easy to set up So let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons. Um, as far as pros go, let's talk about pack down size, amazing. Fast setup, amazing. Durability and, and ease of the awning being, everything's like very easy to set up. Cons, um, if there was a con, the air side of things, if you get a puncture, it does come with a puncture repair kit. How durable are they if you get a stick in it? Look, I don't know, we haven't, we haven't crossed that bridge yet, but it is certainly something you think, oh, I'm not sure. If you fall over on it, it's not gonna break like a normal swag, so that's gonna be a bit of a pro, but uh, I'd be a little bit worried about the, the air side of it, but I've been told they're virtually indestructible, so that's probably not a con. I can't find many cons in this. It's all positives from my point of view at the minute. Price-wise, maybe a little bit more expensive than a normal swag, but not really. So why should you choose these over a normal swag? Look, we're on Stratty at the minute camping, as I said, and a couple of the boys are with, when we set these up to do this video, they both ran over and went, what are those? And they both immediately said, have a go at the awnings. The awnings are amazing. They both got into the, the mattresses and had to lay down and went, wow, this is so much better. And one of them actually said he was gonna sell his existing swag, which is a normal swag, and buy one of these because it's so much more comfortable. So comfort tick. Pack down size, tick. Speed of setup, tick. Price, tick. Um, durability and, and, and quality, I'm gonna give that a tick too. Would, you, would I buy one to go away camping with? Absolutely. I think these are amazing. And if you're limited on space and you want something just to throw in the back seat, throw in the back of the ute, comes with everything you need. <laughs>